everybody, this is Bill Murphy with MMORPG.com. So the ability to actually stream this game seems to be a problem right now. The internet uh, connection with Twitch and YouTube is just not working too well. So what we're going to do instead is do a recording, and I'll upload it later, um, to YouTube and everything like that. This is Elite Lord of Alliance. It is the brand new free-to-play action MMORPG from WebZen. Um, <laughs> that's it. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you are familiar with games like Devillion and, and stuff like that that are coming out from Tryon, this is similar to that. There is a whole wave of these Asian action MMORPGs coming, including Lost Ark, somewhere in the next couple of years. Um, and so it looks like Webzone wanted to hop out ahead of that queue and try it, uh, their hand at Elite Lord of Alliance. Now, it is known as something else here already in the United States. I can't remember what, but it is an illegal version uh, of the game. Uh, of a Korean closed beta version, and they Americanized it, and they brought it over before WebZen and and Picsoft could. So this is the official version of Elite Lord of Alliance, and we're just going to play it for a little bit, try to ignore all the gold-selling spam that you can actually see in the chat right there above my head, um, and we're just going to play it for a little bit, and I'll and I'll say my thoughts on it as we go about it for about half an hour or so, and uh, we'll see how it goes. This is very early on. I'm like level five or so with a, a sniper. Nice to meet you. I will say that the graphics on this, you know, despite being very childlike and, and you know, uh, kind of, uh, you know, low polygon and stuff like that, they're actually kind of pretty. Like, the nice style itself you. is a good anime style. I do like that. I like the vignettes that pop up with the characters as they talk to you, but it's poorly translated. Quests don't really have a very decent story, like at all, so you just kind of, and look, she walks away from you, and if you don't finish talking to Jane first, she'll just keep walking. Um, so we gotta fill up the first aid kits, and I don't know why I have this mushroom as a mount, I was supposed to get a wolf, but I got a mushroom instead. At the very beginning of the game, it's like, talk to this person, she'll give you a wolf, and I got an ugly ass mushroom. So I'm a sniper, that's obviously the ranged DPS class, now the claim to fame for this game, uh, their, <laughs> what they think makes them special, is the fact that you can swap between three different stances. You have your cannon stance on the sniper, you have your rifle stance, and your bow and arrow stance. Now, the cannon stance actually has four skills so far. The rifle stance only has two, and the bow only has one. Here's the thing, you don't really have to switch between them. There's no need to whatsoever. And in fact, with four skills on the cannon so far, the only one that really makes sense to use is the cannon stance, because the other ones are very limited in what they can do. It's only if you're waiting for the cooldowns on the other ones that you should switch. Anyway, now I gotta use the nice one. All right, let's hop on my mushroom guy who magically grows. I'm using WASD to move. Um, you can right-click or left-click to move as well, but there's no joystick support. Zones are um, kind of big, but there's like not not really like there's nothing. You know, you're herded through uh, all these little small corral or not corrals. I don't know what you want to call them. You're herded through these small tunnels, basically. There's they're not open at all. Very impassable. So that's pretty familiar for anybody that's played Devillian too. The zones aren't very open. It just kind of herds you through these areas. I've never seen this place. Before. But they load fast. So now we're in the. Where am I? The Ruben Valley Mysterious Hill. This forest needs help. You press F. You go through all this stuff. Get your rewards. Five. I have new skills. I have heavy fire. And I have explosive arrow. Alright, now this one wants you to click this button to return to the last save point. We did. That was my last save point. With cruiser Nina. Oh, there she is. Have you come to ride a cruiser? So the Insight Cruiser is like a central hub where you can move from zone to zone. It's just a, a fancy way of putting travel point. 
there's obviously achievements and stuff like that. When you arrive, Steersman Brutal will explain everything to you. I've so, never this seen is this the Insight before. Cruiser. What do you think about traveling with a cruiser? Okay. Think a penny. Now what? So what do I do? What Just do you talk think you. about traveling with a cruiser? Ah, there we go. I want to go to Baratan Fortress. Looks like that's probably like the central city of sorts. You know, it's one thing I can say though, they don't automatically Heighten give the you the strength and bravery. You're like you can't auto walk in this game. It looks like you actually have to walk places. I've never seen this ah, place before. Agency. See, people have the kick-ass pets. I want that. It's a giant fucking lamb. Uh, okay. Let's you need guy. something. Trading agency commission deposit. Yeah, makes sense. Please, deposit your important items into me. So you get your warehouse. Okay. Luckily, I don't really I don't have anything to store. New cannon. You can disassemble things, get crafting items. It has all these PvP matches too, but it looks like you have to be level 30 or higher for all of them, so PvP doesn't open it to level 30. Look at these bouts! Let's see, do we have any cool mounts? Uh, US. Pets. And the pets actually double as mounts. You can't just straight out buy one. I think. These give you random pads, but I don't feel like spending any money on this game, I mean, let's be honest. Right. Ah, my guy! There we go. See, she got unlucky too. There should be a person up here to talk to, Heinz Hargan, about crafting a weapon. Welcome. You can only learn one crafting skill. Welcome. Right, I'll learn weapon. Ask Gordon about. Oh, I have to talk to all these people. What's first. up? So he does armor. Blah blah. blah. And then I have to talk to Ragwood. Are you interested in accessories? jeez. Oh, you know, it wouldn't be an Asian anime game if there weren't boobs jiggling in front of your face, I don't think. Okay, so which one do I want to do? Armor, alchemy. Ask Shuban about alchemy. Wait, seriously? I still gotta talk to more people. What's up? Let's talk about her, too. I want a giant bear? Come on! Where do these people get all the cool things? Right. Are you interested in alchemy? Some potions. You can also hire craftsmen to craft items for you. One of the four. Accessories, armor, weapons, or alchemy. Let's do weapons. Welcome! Welcome! Need one gold? Do I have one gold? Sure. Here we go. Oh, and you get the gold right back. Right now what? 
Welcome. Okay. All right, then. I need an artillery. Level three. That's level seven. But I don't have enough stuff. What about bows? Aha. Uh -huh. I have enough stuff for the sharpshooter's bow. And I have enough stuff for the gun for training. So craft. Okay. What the bow? Uh, now I don't have enough stuff for the bow. It's okay. that gun go. There it is. We can disassemble the twisted muzzle. Can I sell any of that stuff? No. I still can't do the sharpshooters. Well, that's what the auction house would be for, I guess. Okay, so let's examine this. Take the reward. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now I have no quests. <laughs> Let's go to the cruiser. Pet vendor right here, I think too. This pet will that. become your friend. Do I, have, I do. Friends of the Lost City. Get mushrooms, lichen, lizard, bears, Titan destroyer, Titan follower, pollen, egg melon. That one. All right. Then we open box. I got a bear! Yes! Yes! That made everything worthwhile. <laughs> um, okay. So how do I... Let's see. Pets. Storage box. There. And F5. Yup. That is an awesome pet. Okay. Have you come to ride a cruiser? Let's go to the inside cruiser. What do you think about traveling with a Rats. cruiser? We were at Mysterious Hill, so let's go there. Ah, I knew it. This forest needs help. Okay. So I just did a dungeon not too long ago, a little basic one-player dungeon, but I haven't found any group dungeons. In fact, this game seems to be very solo-centric, despite having tons of people. Which is the norm lately, I would say.
nice. <laughs> before. Alright, now I gotta get the rusty armor back for this little turd. All classes level 6, all classes level 7? No. Artillery level 7, shield for training. So I can disassemble that one. Okay. Let's go luck, rusty armor. Hey, ah. the casting is unresponsive. Which is really bad to say about an action RPG. Combat is pretty quick and fluid. This is like flick teeth. And you know, it's just. Same old song and dance, bunch of mobs standing around waiting to die. It's just not very good. Let's see, I was aiming down there and I decided to hit over there, because that's the direction I was facing. Not where my mouse was going. I have to say it, you know, people make fun of, uh, of Davillion. I see a lot of people saying, oh, it's just another Asian grindfest, but since these games are trying to be similar to Villian, you're much better using, much better playing. It's my pleasure to meet you. So I gotta go look for Jaranga. I've never 
seen this place before. Okay. <laughs> I was I was actually highlighting that guy and still shot somebody else. Just the worst. snares for zero point. Alright.
There's always an evil wizard. I'm pretty sure the first time I had to kill something in here was an evil wizard. <laughs> it's my pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're working for the Titans. Uh, we're looking for a kid named Naz. So we think he might be dead. Yada, yada, yada. Like I said, the music and the visuals are not bad in this game, but the combat is so lacking. <laughs> Doesn't count if somebody else is going to start attacking them, I see. The scary ogre. That's funny. What happened? All right. What the hell is the echo of silence? I've never seen this place before. I'm sitting here and I'm playing this and I'm just hoping that's going to get better or different and it's the same map every single time they call it something different. But it's the same map. Need something? Need something? I'm in a shadow, a wizard, ogres, ogres campsite. We're gonna go kill some more ogres, because that's that's what you do. How dare we try and talk?
we gotta kill wolves. Randomly. Just kill something else now. See, it's just, um... It's fine, you know, I don't mind games that have kind of random, really stupid, silly, extra RPGs. Uh, we're not RPG, MMORPG questing systems, I can only really deal with generic questing. If not, that's good. This is decidedly not that good, combat wise. You know, one of the things about other games from Korea that come over here that have this action RPG sort of persuasion is that uh, they often have systems that you open up slowly but surely, and so far it's just not that way, not that deep. Pretty to look at, but pretty shallow otherwise. Look, I mean, it's the same. We've been at this base before in a different map. I think over here. Or over here. Maybe here. Like this is that. So there's Forest of Hallucination. Now we're in the Echo of Silence. That's pretty much the same thing. Minus this upper quadrant. What a beautiful day. Now I have some more skills. Look out for newlyweds. Get some guns. I have Scorching Fire, fires three bullets in a fan shape, and I have Ice Wedge, fires ice arrows that decrease movement speed. I mean, it's the same skills across everybody. You seem to have an eye for items. You know, and then you think of other action RPGs that are going to be free, um, or MMORPGs that are going to be free, and I just can't think of a reason why you would play this over something like Blade and Soul, or even, yes, Devillian, or Wildstar, or Guild Wars 2. Doesn't seem to be a reason.
find the missing newlyweds. All right, after this quest, we're going to call it quits. I think you guys have seen enough, and I know I have. for this folks uh, this is elite lord of alliance you can find it on webzen's portal uh, e l o a and uh, yeah you know it's it's a passable action rpg it's not the worst game i've ever played but like i said with so many other big budget triple uh, a mmorpgs on the market that are free to play i just can't think of a reason to play this one and if you're really hard up for an action rpg that's online with dozens of other people uh, I would probably pick something like Path of Alliance or Path of Exile Marvel Heroes or the upcoming Davillion um, this just doesn't have a whole lot to make it win over if the combat was better if the combat was more on point it would be addictive but this isn't addictive I don't even feel the urge to keep playing and I've only been playing for 38 minutes it's not a good sign anyway folks thanks for watching I'm uh, Bill Murphy with MMORPG.com you can follow us on Twitter Twitch YouTube Facebook all that stuff at MMORPG.com without the dot and you can follow me on Twitter at the Bill Murphy have a good one make sure to level up your MMO knowledge by visiting MMORPG.com subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on social media to catch up on the week's biggest MMO news watch our latest MMO FTW and to see if there's a better MMO out there for you watch one of our latest first impressions videos thanks for watching